Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about permission sets that are related to prompt template. So there are two main types of permission sets that are available. One is called as prompt template manager and the second permission set is called as prompt template user. What is the difference between these two permission sets? Somebody who has prompt template manager permission set, he'll be able to manage the prompt templates, which means he can create new prompt templates, he can edit the existing prompt templates, he can delete the prompt templates, he can activate them, deactivate them. So he's going to have full access over these prompt templates. Whereas if somebody has prompt template user permission set, he's only going to be able to use the prompt templates. He won't be able to modify the prompt templates or create new ones. All he's able to do will be use the existing templates. So for example, as a customer service agent, you're not going to create new prompt templates. Somebody will have those prompt templates created for you, but as an agent, you'll be able to use those existing templates. So you will need this particular permission set, which is prompt template user permission set. So let's cover some theory here. Prompt template manager, this permission set is assigned to folks who need to create and manage prompt templates. It allows full control over the creation, editing, and deletion of the templates. The second one you have is prompt template user. This permission set is for users who need to apply prompt templates in their daily task. It grants access to use the templates, but not to create or modify them. So they don't have the permission to modify existing template. All they are able to do is use existing templates in their day to day task. Now, the third type of permission set that is available, I have to give you that also that is related to sales email. So I'll go over to quick find and we'll type in permission sets. And here you are going to see the permission sets that I was talking about. So we'll go to letter P here. So there are prompt template user and prompt template manager. What does prompt template manager permission set is all about? Manage the prompt templates using prompt builder and run them using generative AI features. The second one is prompt template user this permission set run prompt templates using generative ai features so all they have is run the prompt templates whereas prompt template manager is going to manage the prompt templates through the prompt builder and run them using generative ai so he can also run them and he can manage them that is the difference between prompt template manager and prompt template user there's another one called as einstein sales email permission set this one and this particular permission set is used to give to those users who need to access sales email features to write emails using Einstein for sale. So if you want somebody to write emails, basically to access the sales email features, then they will need this particular permission set. So we talked about three permission sets. One is the Einstein sales email. So if somebody has to use the sales email features, he will need this permission set. The second one is prompt template manager. He'll be able to manage the prompt templates. And the third one is the prompt template user. He's going to use the existing templates. He won't be able to modify them. So that is about the permission sets related to prompt template. I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.